All right, so hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about a couple things that I wanted to talk about before. And those are just self-improvement stuff. And yeah. So the first thing that I want to improve is that statement or that particular saying is treat people how you want to be treated. So that statement is the, the, the most, the wrongest statement I've ever heard in my life because everything that I've done in my life proves the opposite it just proves the opposite everything that i've ever done is treat people how you don't want to be treated treat people how make your niceness or whatever it is they tell you be nice to people make your niceness very scarce make it really scarce to the point that whenever you give niceness to people they start appreciating it they start appreciating whatever it is that you do because if you're nice all the time people are going to start to expect it and when you when you're not nice anymore people are going to be like what you're the nice person, they get mad at you. That's why I get a lot of problems with my mom, with people, some people outside, because I stopped being that nice person. So that's what they're expecting. They're expecting the, that nice person all the time. What I'm expecting is for them to appreciate how nice I am to them. Not, and it's just when, when, when I'm mean, they, when they always, here's the thing, when you're so nice to somebody, they start becoming mean to you because they expected you to be nice all the time. You're accepting don't ever be accepting people need to know that you're not accepting i should not be accepting why am i accepting of people that i don't even fucking know that's period that's just the way it is for other people outside as in for my house give scarce niceness so that way my niceness is appreciated that way my niceness is not looked at as, is not taken for granted because what's the point if somebody takes your fucking niceness for granted there is no point there is no point there is no point in you being nice, expecting people to be nice to you because that's just not the way it fucking works. That's just not the way it works. So what needs to happen for the future is be neutral to an asshole, to a player, walk around and then be rude and then give niceness a little bit. That way, my niceness is going to be so appreciated. That shit makes sense in my head. I just have to put it into use and do it. Just do it. I, I used to have, I used to wear that Nike shirt that says, just do it. But seriously, just do it. Spend energy. The first couple times is going to take a whole lot of courage. It's going to take a whole lot of courage, all right? It's going to take just so much courage. Just do it. Just, if, if I see something and and I, I just don't need to be nice, even if somebody's nice to me. When they're nice, honestly, I don't need to be nice back. It just not it doesn't work that way if somebody let's say usually i've also noticed that when somebody's nervous i kind of get their energy so don't do that don't get other people's energy don't get other people's and 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 whenever like somebody's talking arabic for example in the arabic language in the arabic language i tend to talk their dialect so that needs to stop talk my fucking dialect and they need to adjust to the way i talk if somebody's nervous they're nervous they're nervous for a reason. They're talking to me legitimately. Like, what's the fucking point of them being nervous if they're not talking in front of somebody that's more important than themselves? When somebody's nervous of somebody else, that person is more important than them. That's why they're nervous. That's just what it conveys. So basically, sit back down and just remember, relax because they are nervous talking to me, which is absolutely normal. Talking to me intimidates people because of my looks, because of my level of intelligence, because of a lot of things, just remember that. I'm very important. So if they are nervous, feel good. Sit back and feel good. All right? And something else that I wanted to say, actually. Something else that I wanted to say. Um, don't side by anybody fully. Don't side. And don't. here's the thing. So the first thing that I covered is that treat people how you don't want to be treated. Give a little bit of, what, a little bit of niceness and then, and then rudeness. That's how I make my niceness appreciated the second thing was i forgot the second thing so let me just go on to the next point so the next point was if somebody tells you what to do let's say for example in a class setting or like i'm not, not i'm not talking teacher i'm not talking somebody that gives you a grade or somebody that gives you something in return for being nice i'm talking about let's say for example the the lady in in in, in walmart or maybe like a lady that was or like a, a your classmate or something like that and they tell you do this you know what you do you know what you do shemis you know what you do? You don't do anything. Even if I saw them, they're telling me this. Pretend as if I didn't hear it. Just look at them. 
Yeah, so what is this? Just continue on going as if nothing is happening. Continue on going as if nothing is happening. What's the fucking point of me answering them and telling them, don't tell me what to do? There's no point. It just looks bad. It's instigating a fight. It looks bad. And people of cool or ha and higher statuses just don't do that. It just doesn't look good. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just look at them and don't answer. What are they going to do? They're going to eat me? Or why did you... Why aren't you answering? I look good for that even. I look good for that even. All right? All right, what else? Oh, I'm so work. My workout yesterday is a is a, like a burner. I swear to God, it's a burner. Oh, even my legs are hurting. I think I need to stop working out my legs because I don't want to get fucking big ass. No, I don't like it. All right, so another thing that I wanted to talk about. Let me see what else. Don't side by anyone completely. Even if it was the person that is so right, don't side by them completely. Just protect them a little bit. Like a little bit. If I like, hey, just go away. Go away. Come. Come. I need to stick the other person. Don't be the person like getting in a fight and blah, 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 blah. Don't. Don't be that person that screams and, and protects somebody blindly. Don't be that person. It looks bad. I think it looks good. It just looks so fucking bad. It looks so fucking bad. I'm telling you, Shamus. It looks so fucking bad. Just don't do it. Just the, the, the most thing that I can do in that situation is just taking them away. Let's say there's like a big fight between two people. Just taking them away. Holding them back. That is the major... Or the most thing that I can do in a situation that is high stakes or a situation where there's a fight. I don't need to side by anybody completely. Honestly. Those people that agree with me, just remember that. Don't agree with somebody completely either. Like they say something, be like, mm. like don't look convinced. That is something Um Nahar uses to make the conversation going. Like you come and you, you want to... You, you want to prove, you, you want to kind of prove something to her and you want her to be convinced, but she will never, and then in the end, she's not convinced. That's just, that, be me. That shit has to be me, honestly. That shit has to be me because I always, I always tend to go around and gravitate towards people who are not fully convinced. So this is, what, this is another topic that I want to talk about. So be that person, but in the same time, in the same time, don't be around those people. Like, I don't have anything to prove to you. You don't, you're not convinced. That's it. You're not convinced. I don't care if you're convinced or not. I'm convinced. Be convinced. And don't even say I'm convinced. Be like, you know what? I don't care if you're convinced or not. Just say that. I don't care if you're convinced or not. Somebody, you tell them something and they're still not convinced. Just be like, I don't care if you're convinced or not. I just wanted to tell you. Or something like that. So, I'm looking good as fuck today. Like, good. Yeah, so another thing that I wanted to talk about. Let me see what. Oh, my life. My lights. Yeah, don't side by anybody completely. Don't answer when somebody tells you what to do. Don't answer when somebody that you don't like says hi to you. I don't need to answer every hi that's being said to me from every single person, especially the people that that um, I don't want to say hi back to. For example, somebody who I know I had a fight with before, now they're saying hi to me. So what's the point of me saying hi back? Just don't say hi back. It's not like I'm mad at them. I just don't think they're worthy of my hi. I just don't even nod at them. Just look at them and look in front of you in front of me and just keep walking just keep walking like legitimately keep walking if they're just saying hi just be like this they're not worth my hi. i don't have to say hi to everybody it's not like i'm mad i just don't think they're worthy i just don't think that i have to answer them just remember that i'm not mad at them and if anything i had a conversation with them have a regular conversation and you're just not friends you know what i'm talking about just don't ever don't ever act mad at anybody that's really really important that's one one thing that i've learned after such a long time, then don't act mad at anybody. Just don't, just don't be that nice to them. Don't pretend like I know them. I don't know them. You know what I'm talking about? So that's what got to happen. And something else. Something else. Let me see what else. <laughs> implement the way i talk on those videos to the way i talk in real life it's so important to do that so important don't scream in those videos but rather talk how i would talk to a person and just improve and improve on the way i talk because make my personality 
look make me look better like honestly work on my personality to the point i make my personality very gorgeous i need to make my personality gorgeous so i've worked on making my personality strong so yes i have the strong aspect continue on making it strong but also i need to add the aspect of it looking good all right i need to add that aspect because that aspect is so important that it looks good when i talk and the way i do with whatever it is that i do with my eyebrows the way i use my face and also have my hands correlate have my hands and also don't talk with half you know what i'm talking about like don't talk girly don't ever make my voice girly it just doesn't look good it just simply doesn't look good so another thing is that don't make my hands correlate with whatever it is the shit that i'm saying so let's say i'm talking about anything just make it correlate and make it slower in movement make my hands slower in movement also close them and open them i think it looks good like why would you do that like, why would you do that? Did you have to do this instead? So yeah, close them and open them. It does look, uh, it looks very Arabic, but also it could look, it, it looks Arab American. This is what I am. I'm not white. I do not want to be white. I do not wish to be white. I'm not black. I'm Arab American. So the way I use my hands are obviously going to be Arab American. So that's just the way it is. So that's another thing. Use my hands down here. Don't use them up here. It just looks better. I feel like using them down here just looks better. I'm going to check them out in the video. And something else, use my eyes and also use the length of my mouth. Like I feel like a little back like right here. Use the length of my mouth a little bit and use my face. Something else that I wanted to talk about. Yeah, don't side by anybody completely. Don't answer when somebody tells you what to do. What else did I want to talk about? whenever yeah don't assimilate to the way the other person is talking ever and also something else that's so important is talk a little bit more dearbornish like get some things like don't say the car say the core it just looks better it just looks better on me it looks like i know what i'm talking about and also just practice it in those videos practice saying that in those videos so that's another thing and also really really important is act smart don't ever like raise my hand in the class oh and something else really important so don't practice my confidence in classrooms this is not the right time to practice my confidence literally don't don't fucking practice my confidence in classrooms i need the grade so basically raising my hand and asking a question that question tells the professor my level in the class so don't ask if i don't know what's going on ask when i know what the fuck is going on and ask when i actually absolutely need that question answered other than that don't fucking ask that question because what's the fucking point of asking a question and that's gonna have the teacher know my level in the class and perhaps just give me a lower grade just because of my question so don't ask a lot of questions in class that's the thing number one don't ask a lot of questions in the class and just have have confidence in my abilities have major confidence in my abilities that i can i can get up especially in terms of my confidence i've practiced a lot i've practiced in front of i've had tons of public speeches in front of tons of people and i've had and i've done a great job so that shit doesn't go away just don't think that my confidence will ever go away just don't think so because it's not gonna go away so that's the first thing another thing i need to be a little closer i don't know why the fuck i'm so far away so basically don't think that shit is gonna go away just it's not the time to practice my confidence i've already done that that time has already passed and right now all i need to do is reflect on the shit that i'm doing and also right now it's the time to to focus on on those classes those classes are really important so i need to focus on them rather than rather than just like practicing my confidence it's not the time so don't do that again and yeah just don't do that again and something else is that take pauses before i answer it's like somebody asked me a question take a pause before i answer there's no point of me just answering right away just take a pause yeah i just answer like that somebody calls me take my time but finish what it, whatever it is that i'm saying then look back at them all right so that's just gonna be that this is just the way it's gonna have to go because this 
portrays a stronger person and what do i want to do i want to look like i'm stronger act as if i'm stronger and that's part of acting strong is that you don't answer right away you take your time talking you turn slow you just slow your body gestures down slow them down use my use my head if i wanted to and um i have a good posture and what else did i want to say yeah so talk a little bit more dear boy just another thing talk a little bit more arab american because it's a lot easier on the tongue and also it's it's just it makes me look better so just use it um find ways to use it by practicing it on those videos and something else that i wanted to talk about let's say let's see what else what else oh my lights Muscles are done. Ah, oh, the muscles are so done. Ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. I haven't worked out in so many days. Um, what else? Oh, remember that looking good has nothing to do with the level of confidence. It just has nothing to do with the level of confidence. So, at any point where I feel like oh, I need to look good to be more, no. My confidence, some people are ugly and they have so much confidence. Some people are ugly and their personalities make them look better. So I have to remember that. Being confident has nothing to do with looking good. Thing number one. being Looking good has nothing to do with being confident either. Just remember. Just remember. And something else that I want to tell myself. Do not be afraid of the disrespect that might come from the outside. Because respectable people have shit like that coming at them all the time. It's the way they respond that makes them respectable. It's the way they respond to the disrespect. Because you walking around in the world, you're going to get so much disrespect because you are surrounded by the world. You're going to get comments you don't like. You're going to get shit that you don't like. So what happens is that the way you, you respond to shit like that is what makes you respectable is what makes you good looking it's not just sitting there and being cute and, and stuff like that no put people's groove down to the floor i'm not even joking put them down to the floor and leave don't i don't have time to spend fighting with people like that i do not have time to spend fighting with pieces of shit of the world the cowardice and the stupid shit of the world they're coming to feel better by putting somebody that's way above them down the people do that all the time and it's it's because most people are mentally ill people when they come and also something else that i want to do that's like a mental shift is that do not give people the benefit of the doubt people are bad until they prove otherwise people are not bad in terms of like oh they're bad or oh, i'm scared they're don't be scared of their judgments because their judgments are stupid don't be scared of what they think because they don't think don't most people's opinions are swayed back and forth by the media by whoever's stronger they're not swayed by by actually critical thinking because they don't critically think and i'm talking that's like 99.9999 percent of the world i'm just saying the truth that's just the way it is people are sheeps they believe everything on the media it's just so some people like fucking fry fry animals like in terms of like um for torturing reasons, they fry them alive. They they they're rapists. They're criminals. Imagine those people. If you were to talk to and get offended at those people as if they're regular humans, honestly, I need to actually realize that those people, most of them, are not all there. They're not mentally stable for me to actually have a regular conversation with them. Here's the thing: I am better than them. So that's just thing number one. Let's just put it there. I'm better than them. Thing number two: they have to prove that they are worthy. They have to prove that they're not psycho for me to believe that they're not psycho. Here's the thing. Be neutral to an asshole. And, and if I want to, I can go back and forth. And just remember, whenever there's a fight or something like bad happens, show people my boundary. Then go back up and, and go back to like being all good. That's how it got to be. Like, just go back to being all good. I don't, I don't need to be like mad all the way. Just don't, don't do that. You know what I'm talking about? Just don't do that. Go back. There's, there's an element where I need to take it back to normal. So drop it to the floor, then back normal. And as if nothing happened. So that's how I got to do it. Because that's what's most respected. You just drop down and go back up. And something else is just act like a celebrity. Act like somebody important. And also, just that doesn't mean, oh, I'm not going to have stupid shit coming my way. Just Im imagine if, like, let's say, Saddam Hussein or like some, some leader came and was like 
and somebody's being disrespectful to them, what would they do? They would say something and then they would leave because they're important. They have better things to do with their time. And also something else is that every hi they won't say hi back to because there's no reason. There's no reason to say hi back to everybody because, because one, they're not afraid of losing people because they have tons of people. And two, because they, they're not obligated to say hi, okay? So, yeah, so, especially people I don't like. like there's, there's no point. Um, what else? Don't side by anybody completely. Don't get mad at people or anything like that. Oh, I, I, I. Yeah, that's what I have. I'm going to go do something.